We um, normally get up for about six, go in the shower, have something to eat, always omelette in the morning. Go into the office for about half six, I try and work till about half seven, and then drive into the training ground, get here for eight. Normally check the emails, check anything that I need to check, make sure the training plan, check anything, everything's sort of a training. About half nine, quarter to ten, players, staff arrive, have a meeting with staff, make sure we all know the daily schedule. Then try and take the first session about quarter past ten to lunch. Um, lunch normally is just a, a cup of coffee and a bit of salad, sandwich, and work through lunch, meetings. After that we normally do the second session till about quarter past three. And then we do a lot of one-on-one -on -one work, some players go to the gym, um, ready for the game. We do a lot of tailoring for the opposition. That sees us till four o'clock. Normally at four, everyone departs. Um, I've got something to eat till about half four, quarter to five, and then I normally stay in the office till maybe seven, half seven, go home. And then I normally sit in the office till about maybe 10, 11, always checking emails on the phone, just making sure there's, there's no time to waste. You're always doing something, preparing for the next game, looking at something, looking at training. And then normally about half an quarter to 12, try, try and drop off. We have your play in here, just ahead of the three. The three in there, and the best thing we've got to try and do is stop them having that ball. So we'll have two in there, one in front, and we'll continuously be nice and compact, and we'll just keep the ball going sideways, sideways. When Josh gets it, we get out to it <coughs> quickly. No matter where Josh gets it, we look to put pressure on him. Is that clear? He's the only player that we can press in their half. Um, it was Rafa Benitez when I first saw him work in Valencia. He probably inspired me. And since then, Roberto Martinez is another inspiration. Get out to him! Go on, get out to him! Go on. Double him up! Go live! The back four, you do not get forward to me. You sit in there, right? As soon as we lose the ball, I want you to hit it near the 18 yard box. Doesn't matter where the ball is, we drop straight away. You'll hear me shout the word, collapse. Basically, just drop. The rest of us, drop in, drop in. Do not give him the chance to be counted. Go side to side, stagger, nice and tight, frustrate him. Everyone clear. 100%. You've got to remember, they've got another player in the heart. So big, yeah. Man, on his hood, as soon as that ball is played, he's coming that way. You understand? He thinks he should have run that side of it. Just run there. You don't run across. Work. Keep his ball. Play. Hey, great recovery, Green. So much to put in. I'll tell you what, get that on Scott Tucker, yeah, Mark. That was shit. Jimmy's looking at me. One Roy, one Roy, what is that shame? So, I'm here with Shadab, who's manager of NL Evolution. And Shadab, we're just about to play Hesketh Bank, and we're just here in the dugout now. What can you tell me about Hesketh Bank? I've heard, heard that you've got a big connection with them. A massive connection. Um, I love the club. Been around me for about six, seven years. Started as a junior manager to the reserves, and I was lucky enough to set the first team over in, in, in end of last season. Um, brilliant club, great history, great people, great board, and a lovely, lovely club. Yeah, now you work with the team, so you know the ins and outs really. How do you think your team is going to do? Very difficult um, to beat Eskabang. The, the league position is a false league position. Anybody who's watched games will know that. I put my life on it, they won't be there at the end of the season. They'll be in the premierships, they'll have avoided relegation 100%. They're, built, they're building a very good team there. Um, Hesker Bank has a bright future, not just the first team, the second team are doing fantastic, run by Terry, a fantastic manager and they're doing really, really well and the youth section is doing really, really well so there's a lot of positives um, and they are waiting for the first team to stay in the division and I'm sure they will do. Eight minutes, I do not want it to go quite, you ready? Three. Ready? Go! Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Each other. Uh, few seconds. Uh, what do you make of the opposition? Very good team, very well managed, um, good flexibility, play a very direct style of football. Um, they, do, they do what they do very, very well and they're very hard to stop. But like every team, they've got weaknesses and we'll look to exploit them and only play the strengths. Yeah. 
I think you've got to be well-rounded. Um, you've got to be good tactically. You've also got to be a good man manager. Football's developed so much nowadays that you can't really focus on one aspect. You've got to be good dealing with players, dealing with the media. It's become a 24-hour job, so you've got to be good in all areas. Uh, throughout the game, they look for that diagonal ball. Josh is probably as big as that dot. He's got a great, lovely right foot as well, and that's what they'll do. The players all see to be ahead of the two midfielders, the guy called Sean. Powerful, big, absolute brute. Wins games single-handedly. Right? He was a, he's, they're using like a Gerard, Liverpool used to use Gerard. Everything comes through him, he's a big power out. He'll be a big problem for us. Massive problem. Pace, power. Dimitri looking trusted, but looks it up. Pace, power, that's what he'll have. And that's we've got to stop him. He'll play ahead of the two. And he's just a power out. All he is. Great shot in the goal. One thing that I've learned by watching them is that they score from 20, 25 yards, 30 yards. They've got, they've got the ability to score. So one thing that we have to do, think of what we're doing out there, blocking shots. When they come into our half on Thursday, tomorrow, we, we cannot allow them to shoot. For me, just dealing with players again, it's the best feeling in the world just to prepare teams and to be working on the training ground is every day is fantastic. To look in, you know, looking at strength and weaknesses of the opposition and trying to beat them, it's really good and that's, that's, that's the best bit.